So in my last video, we pinned the G3258 against the i7-4790K in a few gaming benchmarks with the 1050Ti. But how do each of these CPUs perform for content creation? As a YouTuber myself and someone who studied games development, getting an i7 for me was a no-brainer. But what about those of you on a tight budget? Do you really need four or more cores or can you get by with just a dual core CPU? Let's find out. First up we have RealBench with both CPUs starting out performing pretty close to each other when it comes to image editing. However, as soon as we get into encoding and heavy multitasking, this is where the extra cores come into play. With the i7 finishing both benchmarks in over half the time of the G3258. Moving on to Cinebench R15 and the G3258 got a Cinebench score of 316, whereas the i7 scored almost three times as much with a score of 858. Premiere Pro now, and for this test I rendered my previous video which was just over five minutes long, using the CPU only to export the file in 1080p at 12 megabits per second, the G3258 finished in a time of nine minutes and 23 seconds. However, the i7 manages to export the file in over half the time in just 4 minutes and 15 seconds. Sony Vegas Pro 14 next and exporting the same file in 1080p at 12 megabits per second using what seems to be the most popular codec among YouTubers. The G3258 took a staggering 33 minutes to render and once again the i7 finished in over half the time with just 14 minutes and 32 seconds. All I can say is, if you are a serious content creator or professional, you may want to go with Premiere Pro to save yourself a lot of waiting around, regardless of which CPU you use. Moving back over to the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite with Photoshop CC 2015. Using an 8K image and applying the radial blur filter, the G3258 finished in a time of 132 seconds. The i7 finished in just 53. And finally, we have the Blender BMW render benchmark. Now this is where the G3258 really struggled, with a render time of 34 minutes and 47 seconds, as opposed to the i7 finishing in just 8 minutes and 36 seconds. So hopefully this video showed you how much more performance you can expect to get with a more high-end CPU for content creation. I know these benchmarks are a worst case scenario, as many of these programs can take advantage of your GPU also. With that said, if you are a professional designer, 3D artist, video editor, etc, a more powerful CPU will not only save you time, but will also allow for better multitasking when using multiple programs at once. However, as you can see from the results, the G3258 is still capable of running these programs fairly well, even if you may have to wait quite a bit longer for things to render. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you uh, have any ideas for future videos you might want to see uh, thank you so much to all the new subscribers i really do appreciate it and uh, thank you so much for the support on my previous video uh, anyway guys thank you again and hopefully i'll see you all in the next video